don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So, this little picture that you can see in front of me is a photograph of an abstract original oil painting which is hanging in one of our bedrooms. And just to prove a point, I'll just put a picture of it on the wall there so you can see. So what I did was I took uh, my iPad and I just got a picture or I just took a snapshot of that and then I brought that into my computer and I printed it out. I thought it would make a great background um, for an art journal page without having to do much work. I know, I know, you don't have to tell me, but Sitting and looking at it, I thought to myself, do you know what, it's, it's an abstract painting. It doesn't represent anything apart from, in my mind, a little bit of turmoil. Um, and it's basic colours, it's Prussian blue, it's magenta, there's a little bit of yellow thrown in there, there's a bit of brown, there's a bit of black. Um, why don't I just do it? Why don't I just recreate something using my Dina Wakely paints rather than a print so that's what I'm gonna do and um, so I'll just off to the right I've got a little bit of water and um, it is gonna have some collage on top as well also um, but I'm working in my 8 inch Dilusions creative journal um, and I've just put a clip holding some of the pages down and I've also glued a couple of pages just to give you that additional kind of thickness that I like to work on. So I'm going to work on this side, but as per, I'm probably going to spill over onto this side as well. Um, but to get started, I want to add some gesso to the page. So I'm going to add um, some white gesso. So I've got my Dina Wakely white gesso here. Dina Wakely Media white gesso. Um, and I did have a paintbrush. He says, there it is. So I'm going to slap a load of this white gesso down onto the page and then just fade it off over that way because I'm not going all the way across because I don't like to. I just like to include a bit of it on that side just to kind of blend the two together. And I'm just going kind of diagonal horizontal I'm not just going in one direction I'm going all over and I'm not going to go right up to the edge of the page I'm going to end up with a border but I am making sure that I put a fair whack on I want to be able to see where I've been for no other reason than just to see where I've been so it's like when you're painting a, a wall in your house and the colour you're putting on is similar to the wall that you're covering up. You just can't see where you've gone. Okay, so that's the white gesso. So I will quickly give that a blast with my heat gun. Um, if I can find it. Yeah, it is. Somebody's borrowed it and not plugged it back in again. I wonder who that could be mentioning no names but it's only got three letters in it. it starts with an I and ends with an N okay get this dry quickly and then I'll be back so the gesso is now dry enough for me to be able to wa walk on it <laughs> not really work apart from that bit up there there we go, gone now. Um, yeah, so I can work on it now. Walk on it. Obviously I've had too much coffee today. So the first thing to do is I'm going to take some of the Dinner Weekly Acrylic Sky, which is a nice kind of cyan colour, and I'm going to put a swathe of it down there, and then a bit across the middle here, maybe a little bit there, maybe a little bit at the top up there. And where the paint is, that's kind of how I'm going to paint it on and the trick with this is is not to be too frightened 
But then again, don't go mad is also the kind of trick for doing something like this. So a bit of blue down there maybe, ba -ba -ba -ba, a little bit there, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do for that coat for the time being. So I'm just cleaning off my brush and I'm going to give that a quick whack with the, the heat gun. And I kind of want to keep those kind of brush strokey kind of effects in there. I've cleaned the brush, but before it dries completely, I'm just going to go back just to add some lighter ones. Should do me and I can clean the brush off again. Okay so because I applied that paint fairly thickly onto the background you can see it's still shiny which is fine. I don't like shine on art journal pages too much but sometimes it's okay because I've put it on quite thick it's to be kind of expected. Now I've also put some rubber gloves on some latex rubber gloves. Um, I've put some talcum powder on the inside. Now the only reason I've done that is because just lately my fingers and my hands have been a little bit um, hypersensitive to um, paints and mediums and that kind of stuff. Uh, every time I've used my Galleria matte medium my skin has just fallen off my hands a few days later. So I'm starting to wear rubber gloves when we go out to do the shopping as well as when I'm doing artwork as well because I don't particularly want to be losing um, layers and layers of skin. So back to the project, plus it means I don't have to wash my hands as well. <laughs> I know, I know, you don't have to say it, I can hear you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building up now different layers of colour and different layers um, or different tones of colour uh, or values of colour if you like. So now I'm going to go a bit darker so I'm going to add in some of that night, which is a real dark blue. And again, I'm going to kind of follow the areas around the page where I've already been. So I'm using the same brush. I've washed it, cleaned it, and then dried it. So, and I'm kind of following that similar kind of arc, I'm just adding in a little bit of that dark colour. There's going to be a fair bit of drying on this. And it is an abstract background, so there's no, I'm not trying to represent anger or loneliness or anything like that. It's just purely abstract. It's not really supposed to represent anything apart from the way the paint interacts and the colours will interact. Okay, so the reason I'm drying in between the layers is because I don't want to get mud all over. I do want some mud, but I don't want... A lot. So I'm just going to add in just a few touches of different colours. So that one was the fuchsia. So when I've used the colour I'm putting it to one side and I keep cleaning off my brush. See that's where we start to get something magic happening. Okay, and it's knowing when to, th to when to say, do you know what, that's enough. So I'll tell you what I'll do, because I'm going to be doing the same sort of thing, just building up different kind of layers um, and sections using the different colours of paint that I've got out, 
then I'll put some music on and I'll just whiz through until I've, I'm, I'm ready to then stop and carry on and add some collage. Okay, so that's the base background, but as you can see, it's as shiny as heck. You know, some will say that they like the shine, but I don't. So I'm going to give the entire double page spread a coat of the clear gesso to get rid of that shine. But while I've been doing that, my phone rang and Linda's on the phone. Say hi, Linda. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So I've been chatting to Linda while I've been drying that off. So what I'm going to do is I'll carry on talking to Linda and I'll pop you on fast forward, play a little bit of music as I'm adding the clear gesso because, you know, it's not going to be the most interesting thing watching somebody put a clear coat on a background, is it? Is it, Linda? No, it's not. Not at all. There you go. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. Well, it's literally like watching paint dry. <laughs> so fast forward, music, and I'll join you again when we're done. Okay, so Linda's gone now, so she's gone for a cup of tea. So there's the page, so that's the gesso. Um, flat, clear gesso, which has got rid of most of the shine on that page. However, just wanted to share something really quickly. Um, I added two coats of the Windsor & Newton Artists Acrylic, the clear gesso, and it still didn't get rid of the shine from the acrylic paint. One coat over the top of the Dina Wakey white gesso, 
not white. What have I done with it? Put it down somewhere. It's there. The Dina Wakely clear gesso. Gone. One coat. Gone. So I don't know whether it's because it had the two coats um, on below it, but just seeing that the one coat of the Dina Wakely just got rid of 90% of that shine, which is what I wanted. Okay, so before I do anything else or add any more bits and pieces, I want to do some stenciling. So I've dug out my XYZ stencil. This is the one with all the writing, the crosses and all the, the symbology and stuff on it. And I'm just going to add, just using the last remnants of the white, which is in this Dina Wakely bottle. There's really not a lot of paint left in there and it's drying up something chronic. So I just want to add a little bit of white stenciling into the background just to kind of break up some of that pattern. So I'm just going to go over just into the corner, just add in just some light stenciling. I know it doesn't probably sound as though I'm going light, but trust me. I'm not really pushing down very hard at all. But because the um, the paint in that tube is really kind of starting to dry out, you, you sort of have to manoeuvre it as quickly as you can. I think just maybe get some of those crosses across the top there. And some of those pointy chevrony kind of arrows. Cool. Just some of those kind of little irregular circles. Just up there, look. And then I'm going to add a little bit, just a tad down here. I think maybe there, so just there. My main focal point is going to be going there. So I want to just add a little bit of something. Just down here. Just to kind of hold it all together. Ah, oh, cracker, this paint is getting a bit sticky. just there and then I'm going to add a bit more just up there just to kind of give you that visual triangle kind of thing and just to kind of blend everything together Just a little bit of stenciling, not a huge amount, um, he says. See, I'm tempted to add more, but I'm not going to. Okay, let me get this cleared up. I'll get that dried, and then it's time to start adding a few focal points. A little bit of focal. It's what we like. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so everything's nice and dry, the stenciling's dry, the page is dry, the gesso's dry, everything is dry. So now it's time, to, let me just put that to one side, now it's time to add um, my focal point. It's going to end up on the floor, that if I'm not careful. I could do with some scudatch paper, there we go. So. I'm using dry glue, so I've just got one of those fabulous Elmer's sticks and I'm just going to go all the way around the back of my main focal point. I've already cut this out, printed it out, cut it out from my stash and then I've gone around the edges, you can probably see uh, the dark edges with one of those um, distressed marker pens just to get rid of the raw white edges. So I'm going to lay that just about 
there in line with the edge. Give that a bit of a push. So this is the same character that's on the an odd set, digi download set. So all I've done is printed it out and then cut his head off. Yes, I have cut his head off. Um, and then I'm going to give him a different head this time. So all the way around, all the way around. Make sure I've got plenty on. Move that to one side. Oh, I've dropped it. Okay, so out of my creepy doll head collection that I normally use for Halloween. There we go. Again, done the same thing, printed it out, gone around the edges with a distressed marker pen just to get rid of those raw white edges. See, that's not sticking down properly. Why are you not sticking down properly? Have I got to go over you again? It's probably taking too long, that's probably why. I'm too busy yakking. As they say here in South Yorkshire, too busy calling. There we go. It's better. I love creepy collage, it's great. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is just to go around the edges of my quote blocks, which I haven't done just yet. So this was a quote that I saw um, the other day while I was, I was looking for something else, as you do usually on the internet, um, and I ended up on Pinterest, which I don't normally like to go because it's a real rabbit hole. The minute you start going onto Pinterest, that's it. You, you, you can lose an hour completely before you know it, um, which is probably what they want, but you know, I haven't got time. <laughs> but there was this quote that I spotted on something else. Um, and I thought, oh, I like that. That gives me ideas. So I wrote it down on one of those little mini index cards that I've got. And I keep, and um, whenever I see a, a quote that I like, and it gives me an idea for a page, I normally write the quote down on the index card and then just put a brief description of what the idea is for the page. That way, when I go back to it later, I won't forget. So, because I'm terrible at doing that. Thinking, oh, that's a good quote, that's a good phrase. And then completely forgetting what the idea was for the page. But that's just me. It's possibly down to age and drink. <laughs> okay, so don't trust everything you see people with plastic faces and the final part of the quote even salt looks like sugar And I've just printed that off on my computer. And um, for Christmas, I did get one of those proper, proper, excuse me, I'll run to the other side of the room. I did get one of those proper, proper um, Dymo label makers. Um, but that quote probably would have taken me ages to do with this. And it's a bit too big. Did you like the sound effect then? Um, yeah, it probably, because it, it does quite a large font or a large um, size, it probably would have been too big for this page. I could have probably done it on that size, but you know, it was quick and easy just to do it on the um, on the computer because you know I'm quicker 
<laughs> on the computer. So, and I'll need to try and find a pen that I can use to write on. Du, 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 du. Where are all my food ball pens? Does that one write on paint? I think it does. It's a signal. So it's a uniball, so it should do. So there we go. So there's my art journal page based on the painting that's hanging in one of the bedrooms just as a basis. I kind of like that swirly kind of pattern in the background and I thought it looked really kind of good because it's almost hypnotic. It's kind of got that don't be taken in by the lies. Resist, resist, you know the kind of thing I mean. So all I'm going to do now is just to sign it down here and then put today's date which I believe as he says looking at his com a computer uh, Tuesday the 26th of January. So day first then the month and the year because that's the way we do it in the UK there we go so there is my art journal page for today I, I do hope you've enjoyed watching it if you have please give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends if you feel so inclined and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already you can do so by clicking that button at the end of the video it's all from me for now I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.